Okay, this is the cake. And um, uh, if you go to my blog, you'll see a step-by-step -step on how to do it. The CDs actually spin, and I'll show y'all how to do that. You see how the knobs are? And then these actually turn on. I got LED lights. And then there's one more thing that actually comes on. So it's basic uh, fondant, black fondant. But then this comes up right here and you can turn it on. And there that goes. Okay, and there it is. And that is the soundboard. So like I said, I will do this on my video, step by step on how to do it, how to hook it up. All right. I wanted to show you guys how I assembled the cake. Um, it's fairly simple. The first thing that um, I want to talk about real quick is it's always good to draw out how you want your design. It doesn't mean that you have to exactly follow it, but for me, I um, I changed a few things up, but um, I pretty much stayed to this design. All right, so you saw the cake. I covered it in black fondant. I took a cake board, you can see here, and all we did was take um, fondant on top of it, white fondant on top of it, and spray it silver. And then I put the flower topper, I pushed it through. Okay, looks like a CD. And then I just covered it with black fondant on top of the circle here. Okay, we wrote on this with permanent marker just because no one was going to eat it and it's not edible. So, but usually if you want this to be edible, you're going to have to use something harder like um, Rice Krispie Treat and then you would have to use the edible marker. Okay, so you see that there? All right, then what I did was I took a straw, stuck it into my cake where I wanted it to go. And so say my cake was like two inches high or four inches high. I cut the straw a tad bit higher than my cake, and then I went ahead and I put um, the CD in there. Now you can see that when I put it in there and in the straw, it's cool. It'll just spin. Go see? Pretty good. So I did that on both sides of the cake. Then I went and got the LED lights from the dollar store. You saw how I, um, I put them in here. I kind of tape them in this piece of cardboard. And then all we did was poke holes in the cardboard and then we poked holes in the fondant and we put it on top and then we sprayed it with the silver. And so these light up. And what's cool is you should be able to use these again for another project. So there that goes. The last thing is I had another light in the front of the cake, and um, you saw that blinking, the blue. Um, it basically looked like this. Somehow it got misplaced, but I took a little blue light that had a little knob switch exactly like that. It was very small, and all I did was push it into the cake, and it was covered in wax paper, all right? And then it was covered with a fondant top so I could remove it and just turn it on. You saw that. Okay, and that is it. And that is how I made the cake.